Right, good morning fish people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV and as you can see I'm at the wonderful Lindome Lakes. Now I've just bought my ticket and I've just been inside and boy have I got something to show you. They've been busy down here in lockdown so that's one good thing about lockdown. Wait until you see the shop that's there now. I'm just going to see if I can get hold of Aaron and he's just going to give you a little talk through it so just two secs. Morning, Alex. He's here. How are you doing? I'm alright, thank you. Wish me happy birthday. Oh yes, it's his birthday tomorrow. He tells me he's only 42. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I think he's more like 32. That's a waste. Right, we've got this wonderful shop here, which I'm going to show you around in a minute. But Alan is just going to give you a quick rundown. Well, we've gone from a little shop to a big shop. Over um, when we were shut down for eight weeks, we decided it was a task I would undertake. We've got Shimano, Preston, Matrix, Gabalino, Drennan a load of bait companies, we hope you like it, it's all compliant with Covid, we've got all the safety screens, dots, cards, everything, hopefully uh, Alan will show you around and you think it's good. Well there you have it folks, see he's not as camera shy as we thought he was going to be, he's always taking Mickey out of me, he's told me I'm, I'm going to be fishing Benny's today, he reckons if I don't catch him there I need to take up singing full time so we'll see about singing's that. Definitely better than any fishing. There you go, he's, he's at it again. You told him about your late record. Yes, I'm sure you all know about my late record. You've got the worst weight ever on Bonsai. <laughs> there you go. Good luck, what Bob. can I say to that? Right, here we go. I'll get him back one day, don't worry about that. I mean, just look at this all the way around. It's absolutely huge. So I'll have a little quick look through now. Obviously, got, I'm going to be using some jiggers today at some point. Lots of floats and reels. All your Shimano reels there. And I'll give you a little look at those. Shimano line. And we've also got lots of the Matrix gear as well. Look at those. There you go, just to give it a bit of perspective, I'm just I'm halfway down now. And there's just lots and lots of gear everywhere, everything you can think of. Right, we're getting on towards the feeders and the bait, ground baits. Absolutely huge. And look at this, I think this is pretty impressive. All the Drennan rods, look at those. How nice is that? Hooks, feeders, pellet wagglers. Some lovely clothing. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? So that's your little tour of the shop. I'm going to get myself out there, hopefully hook into a few, and we'll see how we get on with a bit of shallow fishing. So over and out. Right, fish people. I've been fishing 10 minutes. Not been all short top kits. Been fishing 10 minutes, and this is my seventh F1. I'm on Benny's Lake. I don't know what peg number it is actually. I can't see what peg number it is. This little jetty that just comes out a little bit. I've been fishing 10 minutes. I've been wanting to try my shallow rigs, my, my short top kits, since I've got them. I only got them a couple of weeks ago. I've also been wanting to try, I've got some new elastics. Now I don't know if you guys have heard of Tom Hardy, not the actor. Tom Hardy floats, TH floats. You find him on Facebook easy enough. And uh, he told me that he, they were doing some new elastics called Solidi Solidico, I think, or Solidico. I can't remember exactly how it says, but uh, it's on his uh, Facebook page. They looked quite thin. And I was a little bit, a bit, you know, quite a lot thinner than what I'm used to. And I'll just keep feeding because I've j literally just started. It's, it's in there a few seconds. And I've got an 8-10 elastic. I'd normally have 6-8 on in winter, 8-10. 
wanted to try them out, I was a little bit apprehensive that it, they might not be strong enough because they do look thin. They are absolutely perfect, they're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, I've had seven fish on them. The initial take, it's quite light, and boy do they power up. Right, what I'm doing today, I have three rigs set up. So I'm highly delighted with the elastic, so thank you Tom Hardy, and that's, that took a long time. So I'm into another one. At the minute, I'm on a jigger. I've got, it's quite a light jigger, but it's, it's got a little bit of weight at the bottom. I think it's the Maver one. Um, whoa, this is, uh, this is going crazy. None of them have done this. Um, just while that's having a swim about, I'll just keep feeding. So I'm just using the jigger at the minute. And the last time I came, I set off with a four inch jug length. And there's a few things I am wanting to test out. See if I can get my catch rate quicker, which hence the short top kit. When I came last time, I set off with a four inch hook length and it went quiet. And the bikes went a bit strange and I knew there were still fish there. So I changed to a six inch hook length. The opposite of what you'd expect for shallow fishing. The difference was unbelievable whether it was lucky day or whether actually that is exactly how they wanted it presenting I don't know so today I've set off again on a four inch hook length and we're going to see at some point if it does make make if it does make a difference going on to the 16 inch hook length and this is hooked very peculiar there we go just a little f1 they have been about twice that size one or two of them so we've been fishing 13 minutes, 14 minutes now, I've been talking to you. So that's number seven. Now in a six hour match last time I had 94. It's, it's, it's in the summer this. I did say we would be bagging in the summer and the shallow today. Um, so what I have got, as you can see there, I've got my four inch hook length there. And I've got quite a long way up to the next stop. It's a good two and a half feet. The reason I'm doing that this is to try and keep the pole away from the water as much as I can. I don't want to spook them. And it seems to be working at the minute. And then I've got two um, shallow rigs, just your, your normal type shallow rigs with, I've got one with, one at about 18 inch and one at about eight or nine inch. And I'm going to give those a try and decide for myself. And you have and the only trouble is here you've got to have a, it's a six inch rule from the uh, from your pole top to your float. And as you probably see, like Jamie Hughes and all these other guys, they want to be as short as they can away from the pole. You miss less miss miss less bites doing that. So I'm going to give those a try and decide which is the best here. But at the minute, this is working quite well. A couple of flicks over, I hold it quite high. Let that drop down. And because the camera's on, it ain't, it ain't gone. And I just keep persevering, keep throwing the pellets out. Give it a flick over. And there's fish there, because I've just seen one. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? Cameras on. There we go. Didn't take long, did it? And they hook themselves. You don't really have to strike. It's such a system. This, oh, this one's not happy. Not happy at all. Again, jigger fishing. Two years ago, I'd never even heard of it. Three years ago, well, I'd heard of it, but I just thought, well, that sounds like a right waste of time. Boy, was I wrong. You can't have hook some fish. It's ridiculous, and I wanted to fine tune things. If I'm going to compete in these bigger competitions, I've got to fine tune a few things. I know I come across as relaxed and quite happy when I'm fishing, and I am. Don't get me wrong, I am. But I'm very competitive. And if I'm going to try and compete against all these guys that you see in magazines and things, 
I've got to get a little bit more serious about it when I'm fishing these bigger matches. Well, I won't say serious, I've just got to get more efficient. So there we go, another chunky F1. So the things that I've changed today, did you notice my hook didn't get caught in my landing net? I bought a landing net today, it's like a micro nest so the bait doesn't fall, the hook can't fall, fall through with the bait on, and getting tangled, spending a minute or two getting that out, etc. Short top kit, not as much elastic. I am getting them in a lot quicker, that didn't take me long at all to get in. Um, slightly heavier elastic rather than 6 8 elastic, 8 10 elastic. I was actually thinking, do I need a 10 12? And the trouble is, I don't want to bump these fish, which you can do with the heavier elastic you go. So, trying a few different things, trying to work out which I think is the best for catching efficiently. And this is another thing you have to remember to feed every time, you know. So, sounds like I'm being really serious. Well, I am, because I'm, well, I'm not, and I am. Don't make sense, does it? But if you know what I mean, I want to refine a few things. So, our club matches, yeah, I still have a bit of a laugh and talk to you guys like I am now. But in, a, in the bigger matches, some of you viewers have been saying you missed your chance there because I was talking too much to the camera, I reckon. Probably right. And a few of my pals have said the same. I am aware of it. I've, no, I've not turned around and said, well, yes, I'm already aware. I was aware when I've watched it. Um, and yes, I do waste a bit of time talking and not getting, the, not getting back in quick enough. But I'm going to try and keep the flow of the video pretty much the same, but try and be a little bit more efficient and try and get my catch rate up a little bit more. Maybe not so much in my club matches, but certainly on the, at the Golden, Golden Reel, Naver match this, Fisher Mania. The only way I'm going to compete, oh, I just saw a flash then as that went in. The only way I'm going to compete with those guys is to uh, take it a little bit more serious and try and refine a few things, which I think I'm capable of doing. There we go. Straight in again. So we're on to number nine. I've been talking to you about three fish. I've been talking to you eight minutes. So I reckon I could have probably had two more if I hadn't been talking. So that's the kind of thing that I'm on about. There could have been two extra fish in my net. But it's nice to give you guys a little bit of info on what's actually going on here and how I'm catching. And if I hadn't been talking there, I would have netted that just as it came to the top. Because what I find with F1s is, keep it low, let them pull away, lift them up, and then they pop up like that. I'm watching Andy May do that. Andy May, yeah, I mean, I know he acts like a clown, but he's a mighty fisherman. Andy, you are a mighty fisherman. So there you go. I'm going to... Have, uh, Crack on and try a few more things and I'll we'll keep giving you a few updates on when I make little changes. See you soon. It's great here. Sunshine. Shorts on as well. Shorts on. Get in. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. 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 <laughs> Right then folks, just to let you know, on the jigger, there's no point in filming it all. It just gets it's repetitive, it's sort of feed, a couple of times, jig, fish, land, save again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. One hour, 21 fish I've had. I've literally just changed. I noticed that they were swirling quite a bit. And it, the bites went funny. I went to a 16 inch length. It's, it worked straight away to start with, but then it went funny as well with that one. And I kept seeing shining glances of fish. So I put a traditional shallow rig on. And I'm catching, well, look at those. Let's see if they'll stay still. I've just started catching those, that stamp of fish, there's a lot of them been sort of, about that sort of pound and a half, some of them have been a couple of pound. So 21 fish in the first hour. I'm now on the traditional shallow rig. This one's at about 8 inch on the line and I think 2.5 inch, 3 inch for the float, so less than 12 inches. And I'm not having to strike. 
even though I've still got six inch between my, well it's a bit more actually, maybe about seven inch there, between my uh, Dacron and my float, it's still just pulling elastic out. And it really is, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I mean this wind's got up now, it's not making it that easy for presentation. But at least the float, well the, the float's going under and the elastic's coming straight out and I have got to say, I'm um, 21 fish, 22 fish in. And um, Tom, you was right, it is mighty elastic. <laughs> I'm impressed so far with this one. So if the others that I've got, the other grades that I've got, and anything to go by these, I'll be quite happy. So nice one, Tom Hardy, thank you very much. Let's see if we can, uh, it's going to be typical, this isn't it? Camera's on, probably won't get back, but it's literally. Oh, let's get a few pellets out there. So there we go, and that's it. Now that catch rate, and it did, to be fair, the jig is set off like that, but it just shows you the bites went funny and it worked. I had 21 fish in an hour, and that last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it wasn't as quick as that. Oh, nobody likes to see that. Right, I'll just get this set up because all the lines kinked and everything. I'll get this reset up. I'll give you a shout in a minute. See you soon. Right, I'm back. Quickest change in the world. Now well, let's have another go. Let's just see if we can do the same thing again. We don't know why that did that, but uh, it did. I'm sure we all have these problems. Tagged that myself as well. <laughs> Typical. You can't write it, can you? And the wind is just blowing these pellets everywhere. It's hard to keep them in the same little spot. Looks like it's straight behind me. It is, but it keeps blowing them left to right, weirdly. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? Change your hook. How many times has that happened? I'll just get up to the end up there. Try it again. But the bites have been really quick and I, I can't tell you how many times this has happened where you've changed your hook length for some reason it seems to make all the difference. Oh, a little bite there, it's it. Not usually having to strike, no, the elastic just comes out. It does feel, did it? Oh, it was quick, got it so quick. Now. I'm sure if I was a lot closer to my flow, I wouldn't be missing these. They are tiny lightning bites. Just got to keep these pellets going in, not too many. Come on, I'll get your accuracy right. It's all practice. Been out to practice, haven't we, for a few weeks? Well, can't believe it. This is what happened with the jigger. It went quiet. Well, I'm saying quiet. I'm still getting bites, but the catch rate just seemed to drop off at 10 or 15 minutes. So it's working out. What's going off? I'm not missing bites because I'm not. I mean, I'm, oh, there's big fish down here. Just seen a tail. But I'm not fishing for those, I'm practicing this uh, shallow fishing. Well, you can't believe it, can you? Looks like I might have to change the rig. Might have gone deeper. Because they were just pulling the elastic straight out. But that's the other thing with, uh, with shallow fishing, you're always making changes. Don't think that the fish have gone, no, they're definitely not gone, they're there. I think you just need to keep making changes and find out. Uh, I know you're wondering why I put it down here, I forgot to put my little rubber things on there, didn't I? Left them at home. Silly lad, silly lad. So I'm just going to go a little bit deeper and I've got um, some strung out 
number 10 is on this one so we'll see if this makes a difference so it'll fall different so let's see if this makes a difference a few pellets out there again and you might have to keep going changing from one rig to another you know, I see a lot, of, a lot of the guys in our club well anywhere not just in our club but and they, they don't make changes they stick to it and think oh fish have gone but I don't think it's always a case of that you know I'm not saying I've just had a bite there missed that one I'm not saying I'm going to start catching on this but you've just got to keep changing sometimes there we go and that's just a little change and I'm pretty inexperienced I'm not an inexperienced fisherman but as far as when it comes to this shallow fishing I'm quite new at it really but just the, just a general knowledge of fishing you you know that they back off they go deeper they come shallower they, they've come into edge and we all know that uh, feeding times when you're ready for packing up so you see loads of big ones and it's all those things a combination and it's getting them right that's what we're trying to do get them right and catch as many as we can for the match fishing don't get me wrong there's loads of people here really enjoying the pleasure fishing day today and, and I am as well it's pleasure fishing but it's just a little bit of practice a little bit of knowledge a little bit of experience in the bank for me that I'm after today and I don't think that hurts right I know some of you are going to say why aren't you match fishing oh this is a mighty fish mighty F1 Look at that! Wow! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, calm down, boy, calm down. Be a good little fish for these fisher people. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, let's see if he'll behave for the camera. That's a, and that is a decent F1, isn't it? Can't complain at those. Imagine catching 21 of those in an hour. So what a mighty result that was. So what was I saying? Oh yes, yes. You're probably wondering why I'm not fishing, match fishing with the old boys. Well, I have booked a couple of matches. But unfortunately, I think I mentioned in the previous video, I've been really busy renovating a property. It's gonna be the Feeder King on the 17th of June, my first match. And the week after that will be the first recording of the old boys. So hopefully you will see all those lovely gentlemen, apart from Soz, can't call him lovely. I do, I like him, but he's a little pest. <laughs> right. I'm going to carry on having a little go at this. If I hook into a mighty fish, I'll probably get back, but uh, we'll give you an update and we'll see how many catch in the next hour. Over and out. See you soon. I'm not saying GoPro, don't be good. All right, fisher people. I've been on the traditional shallow rig. And even though I'm getting lots of bites, it's so difficult to hit. They're only little taps of these F1s. Um, and I did have a few fish. I've only had eight in the last half hour so i'm down i've lost a few to be honest i've had quite a few hook pulls but the best method i mean it's it's a little bit windy now so i've had to shorten the line from my jigger bottom of the jigger to to my pole tip so i'm a little bit close to the water i don't like being too close so we're not spooking the fish but uh, just get back out of there but i've gone i've tried the six inch hook lens I had an instant response and then that went funny and I've gone back on the jigger. Oops, I'm throwing right. There we go. And back to a four inch up length and today I have got to say, in fact I forgot to put that fish on so yeah that would be eight or nine on the traditional shallow rigs but I'm catching straight away again as you can see on the jigger. So the jigger seems to be the way today and if I was in a match I wouldn't have stuck out as long as what I did on the um, on the traditional shallow rigs I would have changed straight back to the jigger because even though I was, I was catching my catch rate had gone down quite considerably really because I'd, uh, I'd lost a few it just, it just seemed difficult 
I just, I just felt like there was too much line between my float and the uh, the Dacron. And with the bite's been so quick, I mean, if you're F1 fish, you'll know. Yeah, we're catching, but not as, not as quick as what I wanted. So I've found so far, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt today, is the Jigger and a four inch hook length. And I'm using an 18, 013 bottom. But the size of the fish, I'd probably get away with, um, with an 011, to be fair. So that might, that, that could be something that I, I might think about in a match, but at this time of year, generally, 013, you can get away with it okay. And typically now, <laughs> oh man, you've just seen me catch one. Like I say, the, the wind's not making it ideal. And I've tried to bring them towards me a little bit as well. But I have found, if I go a little bit further, I'll just see if I'm trying to go a little bit further out. They seem to be in that area, but I have been feeding shorter than that. I've been trying to get them to, to come closer. Again, the closer they are, the less shipping out you've got. And hopefully the quicker you can catch. Oh, I just missed that one. Usually it's, it's, it's a bit of a self-hooking well, it is self-hooking, this jigger, because you're in direct contact with the hook. But they're that quick, these F1s. They've really got to be on the ball. Usually, when I've lowered it and you lift up, that's usually when you get a take. But I've got to say, it's just been a bit, a bit funny, this, this last 20 minutes or so. Whereas we're getting one within 10 seconds, I seem to be having two or three goes before I get one. So there's definitely a change needed somewhere and I do keep swapping. And like I say, it's, it's gone funny again on this. It's, oh, it just had a, felt a touch there, it didn't quite take it properly. Whereas before they were just pulling elastic straight out and as you can see, the, the wind's getting up. So it's not, it's not ideal. And I have got the wind behind me. I, do, I think down that bottom end would be better. But there's that many fish in here, you can't, oh, just pull that one there. There's that many fish in here, you can't really fail. Aaron just said any peg you'll catch, which I have done. I've caught plenty of fish. I've got about 30 fish now in an hour and a half, an hour and 45. So I, th I think again, I certainly think for a six hour match, I think you'd be on for, they are 200, 150, 200 pounds, but you know, I think, I think to win matches on here at this time of year, I'm pretty sure it's it's around the 280 to 350 mark. So they're really catching there. I'm not sure which of the favoured pegs, even though Aaron said that you'll catch pretty much anywhere. Ah, oh, that's probably why I keep missing a few. There's some roach in the peg. When there's plenty of F1s. You don't catch these. So whether they have followed the wind a little bit, there's a guy using a jigger to my right. He's uh, he's catching quite uh, quite often. Um, he's had a go in the margin. I mean, there's big fish in the margin down here. I've been dropping one or two pellets. It's always nice to see the big fish. But I'm not fishing for those. Like I said, I'm just practicing the the shallow fishing. So I'm just going to keep swapping and changing. And just see if I can. Uh, Get a few more F1s, I'm not going to be too long, I'm just having a couple of hours today, but it's been a lovely day. We've got some youngsters fishing, there's a young, a young girl behind us, she's catching plenty of fish. She only looks about 13 or 14, great to see a young girl catching plenty of fish. I think that'll be a dad at the side of And somebody says he hasn't seen much wildlife, but there's ducks everywhere on this pond and, uh, and grebes. So I, I forgot which uh, viewer mentioned he's not seen much. Uh, wildlife ducks wise but there's loads on here absolutely loads some grebes over there some ducks over there and i've seen a female with lots of little ducklings so there you go right i'm going to get back out there and see if we can catch a few more see you soon right it really has gone by me i'm uh, this is 
since I last spoke to you, I've had another two, and this is a third within literally five minutes. Let's, oh, that's off. It's not happy at all. At all, at all. It's been a lovely day. It's nice to have the shorts on when you're fishing, isn't it? Right, let's see if it'll pop up this time. There we go, look. Pop up. It wonders what's going off. And then it's in the net. And once you get those F1s competing, if there's plenty of them there, this jigger, it can be really deadly on its day. There you go, look. I mean, look at that. That, I'd not even started lowering it and that was away. So the jigger system is exactly what it, what it says. You slap it over two or three times, throw some pellets in, slap it over two or three times, hold it, let the bait fall and slowly let it drop. And usually when you lift it back up, that's when you get quite a lot of fish. But these at the minute, for some reason, said it went quiet and just turned up or oh, they've just started feeding i'm not saying they've turned up there's, there is plenty of fish here i'll keep this low let's see if we can get him up now there we go try and surprise them There we go. <laughs> Took a bit longer, but you know, normal circumstances, I caught a fish there in a couple of minutes. But believe it or not, oh, that's come straight to them. I wasn't expecting it to come up that quick. That's not quick enough in these matches on lakes like this. You need to keep the, the feeding pattern going right and get your rig in and out as quick as you can and away you go and just keep catching and catching and catching. And that's F1 fishing. And they are good sport, so there you go. I'm gonna change this pellet because that is definitely on its last legs. <laughs> that might have been the reason why it took so long, so I'm gonna refeed while I do this pellet. The ducks are coming along. And one's just jumped out. Say hello. Right, over out. See you soon. Right, fisher people. I've just come over to a young lady called Jess. She's 13 years old. Now I hear there's a lot of people saying there's not enough young people fishing. But here's Jess with her dad, aunt. And she's shallow fishing with pellet. And I've been hearing lots of splashing going off. And she's catching plenty of fish. And she looks like she knows what she's doing. Apparently, her dad can't go fishing without her now, that's what he's just been telling me, so we're just going to video her and see if she can catch a fish, and I know she's been catching plenty, so let's hope it happens while the camera's on, so watch out guys. Come on then Jess, let's have a few fish. So she's doing what I was doing with a traditional shallow rig, just run a few pellets round. There's fish there, because I've just seen them swirl. And I think it's great to see young ones fishing, so let's just keep it, ooh. Let's just, there we go, oh, she's missed it. A great bite that, wasn't it? Oh, there you go, look, look at that. She's been slapping it, feeding a few pellets, and she's in, and she's just told me she's been fishing since she was about five, did you say? Yeah. About five years old, how wonderful is that? Are you going into some matches as well? No, I've been in matches yet, I've Oh, you want to get yourself in? Yeah. I've seen a few, there's uh, Shannon Swaller, she's a, she's a blondie like you, she's a mighty fisherwoman. we go, I'm assuming it's going to be an F1. The ducks are watching over as well. Oh nearly. 
this time, you've got it. Oh, it's a belter as well. Cracking little fish. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 13 year old Jess enjoying a day at Lindome Lakes. Well done, Jess. And you'll be on YouTube next week. <laughs> right then folks, how wonderful is that? 13 year old young lady, loving fishing with her dad. It don't get any better, does it? Right, I'll go catch a few more myself. She's up to 40 something, I'm up to 30 something. She's beating me, can you believe it? <laughs> See you soon. I couldn't resist it. I've, there were fish, I've been putting a couple of pellets right under my feet. And I've not got the right gear on. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. There's a chance I might get it in. This should be a nice carp, this. Just dropped it down there. It might take a bit of getting in. So we shall see. It was too... I just couldn't resist it. You know, you see the tails. So a little 18 hook. 013 bottom and I don't think it's a massive one, but it's, a, it's a bigger than the F1s. Oh, I thought I got him then. No, 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 no. You just think he's ready, and he wasn't. Been in me peg this one. I recognise the colour of its back. Been in me peg for an hour or two. So he was confident with the pellets I caught of all dropping in. And it literally was in five seconds. You just can't resist it, can you? There we go. Let's have a look at him, eh? There we go, he had to be caught, didn't he? <laughs> a little belter. Go and get yourself back in. Yeah, he was enjoying himself, having all those freebies. <laughs> I don't care who you are, you just can't resist catching them, can you? Right, we'll get back out and do a bit of shallow fishing. Right, over and out, see you soon. Right then, fisher people. All done and dusted, a lovely few hours again, only pleasure fishing I'm afraid. I'm on my way home, but what a fantastic day and it's been brilliant because I've learned quite a bit today. Um, one of the main things that I have learned, those F1s, as I have knew anyway, just move up and down the water like you wouldn't believe. And if one rig didn't work for 10 minutes at the most, a change was needed, and then you start getting a few more. Now I did say, I thought that the jigger rig was the, uh, was the best. Well it was up until that time. Now in the last hour of a 26 fish, 26 F1s, I stopped the clicker at 60. I've got 60 odd F1s in a few hours today, about three and a half hours. Um, I started fishing about half past ten. Well, I've packed up and I'm driving now. It's it's five to three. I also got some footage of a quite a talented young lady called Jess, who's come. Her uh, dad brought her here. Been fishing since she was five, and uh, I think that's great to see because you know we hear a lot of people saying there's not enough young people fishing. I could tell she thoroughly enjoyed it. I think she's, I mean, she was here quite a bit before me by the look of it, but she, uh, 
when I went out to video, I think she got 40, 40 odd fish, which is incredible. And she, all she was doing uh, was the top two and shallow fishing, pretty much. A very similar rig to what I, I was using. Maybe slightly bigger float, but apart from that, she was doing it very competently indeed. Um, I was impressed, so Jeff's well done and I hope you carry on fishing and I do hope you get into match fishing a little bit. Um, the sport needs it, so get your dad to go down to Hayfield Lakes, go see Andy Kinder and he'll tell you all about it. He's a great guy, great guy to get kids involved, so don't be shy, go see, go see Noli and Andy Kinder at Hayfield Lakes. I'm sure they'll have quite a bit of information. I know they'll do some coaching. Get yourself there, girl. And well done today. Don't you think that's lovely? Brilliant. Brilliant to see. Right, my fishing today. Loads of F1s. I still think I need to be a little bit more efficient, but it's a while since I've done any shallow fishing like that. A little bit rusty. But I still had 60 odd, 60 plus fish. Um, and I was chasing them through the water all the time. One minute they'd, they'd be at six to eight inches, and then the next minute they'd be at two foot. Um, hence why you probably see all these mighty fishermen with a gazillion top kits, because I've often wondered why do you need that many top kits? Well, today, even though I've got the jigger, it's a different presentation. We, oh, sorry about that, it's all these bumps. It's, it is a different presentation. Um, is the jigger to uh, your standard shallow fishing. So I think I could have probably done with maybe two more top kits with different levels. I, I really was chasing them today. They, they wouldn't stay in one particular depth and, and feed actively. And once you got onto the right depth for at least half a dozen fish or more, you to start with it was three or four or five fish, but half a dozen fish seemed to be the norm. Um, and they'd seem to either back off or change depth. Um, so, feeding pattern, very important, got to keep the fish there, so I was feeding with every put in, and whilst it was in there, if I'd not had a bite, um, and in the end, the most prolific rig of them all was the one that I set at about 8 inches, um, on the traditional shallow fishing, and it just took off, it was unbelievable, no striking, it was just bang. Uh, it was literally a bang on the end of the pole. They were they got really aggressive, and that's when I ended up bagging about. I think it was 26 fish, something like that. Anyway, so uh, I can't imagine what it must be like trying to catch 350 pound of fish. But good grief! That uh, I'm pretty sure I can speed up a little bit more on that. The more I do it, the better you get. So. Uh, I've not done lots and lots of footage of me catching fish because it's pretty much repetition of what you've of what you've seen today, and it's it's in and it's a fish out, it's in out in shake it all about. We do the okey anyway. Do you know what I mean, don't you? So um, great days fishing, great few hours, been a lovely day. Shorts on. Well, actually, I took my shirt off when I didn't have the uh, camera on. A bit of a suntan as well. So it's been a great day. Lindome Lakes, very professionally set up. I'm not doing it because I'm earning, I'm not saying that because I'm earning any money from the guys or anything like that. It's very professionally set up. A lovely shot, nice people to deal with. Plenty of fish in those lakes to catch. If you want F1 fishing, which is, you know, it can be very, very busy fishing, or big carp, There's, they've got everything there, so get yourselves there, have a nice day out, and let's hope the weather stays nice for us, eh? So, like I was saying earlier, my next match is on the 17th in the Feeder King at Meerkat Manor. The moody mistress herself, Southfield Reservoir. But I'm confident of at least a few pulls now. So we shall see how we get on there. All the mighty fishermen there. I think Lee Kerry's there, Rob Wotton. There's quite a few names that I recognise on there. So uh, that should be 
an interesting day and we'll see where we get drawn. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I shall, I'm not sure I'm, what I'm doing next week, but I'll hopefully get out somewhere. It might be a canal, I don't know yet, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I decide. So if you do like my videos, don't forget, press the subscribe button. If you hit the notification bell, you get all our videos as we upload them. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the back next week. See you soon. GoPro, stop recording. Spoils the day, doesn't it? See you soon.